The Northwestern Wildcats have returned to football under a new head coach and a continued investigation into hazing and misconduct within the program. Allegations the players refuse to comment on. We're not addressing any any past hazing allegations or anything like that. What I can tell you is right now we have a great culture in our locker room and guys are really um, sticking together through all this. And, and like I said, the older guys are really just focused on helping these younger guys out, helping each other get through this and just leaning on our relationships and just helping us get through this time and um, having that carry over on the field. A lot of people have been affected in all this and uh, there's a lot of emotional energy and a lot of emotions that are going on. And it's, it's at the end of the day, I'm responsible for the 103 young men in that locker room and making sure that their well-being is at the forefront of my mind. The football activity is welcome, but the reality of the situation remains as a handful of staffers were spotted in t-shirts that read Northwestern against the world, including the jersey number of former linebacker and fired head coach Pat Fitzgerald. We were devastated, obviously, losing your head coach. No one ever wants to lose their head coach or have that, that change. We uh, love Coach Fitz and, and devastated that he's not here, but we have full belief in Coach Brown, and he's been unbelievable and has done a great job leading us and has really just shown us like how much he cares about us, obviously difficult times. Braun does communicate with Fitzgerald, whose son Jack does remain on the roster, but more as an assistant than a participant right now as the Wildcats continue to prep for a fast approaching game one of the season, September 3rd at Rutgers. At Northwestern, Dion Miller, ABC7 Eyewitness News. And Dion mentioned those shirts being worn by some coaches that seem to pay tribute to the fired head coach. Athletic director Derek Gregg says he's disappointed in their decision to wear those, saying in a statement released today, quote, neither I nor the university was aware that they owned or would wear these shirts today. The shirts are inappropriate, offensive, and tone deaf. Statement does not mention any punishment for the coaches. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.